Yeah, we have, uh, as you said, uh, long-standing uh, relationship, and we celebrated uh, 50 years of diplomatic ties last year when our prime minister, uh, prime ministers, uh, met in, in in Copenhagen, and our foreign ministers also had an online meeting to celebrate that. I see the uh, India-Iceland uh, uh, relations uh, just about to take off. Uh, we have uh, many uh, commonalities, but also many complementarities, and where we can uh, contribute to, to one another's uh, societies and economies. Uh, India is known for its entrepreneurial uh, spirit, uh, high educated uh, experts, uh, highly educated experts. Uh, uh, that uh, could uh, contribute to, to Icelandic uh, businesses and uh, uh, come to Iceland and, and, and contribute in, in, in that manner. Uh, you have set yourself ambitious uh, goals for uh, uh, halving uh, the uh, emissions by 2030. Uh, we, th there are vast opportunities uh, between the countries there. Uh, geothermal energy is something that we uh, have uh, almost a, a century uh, experience, or more than a century experience in, uh, and uh, this is basically uncharted territory in, in uh, India. We have already co cooperation projects uh, in the Puka Valley uh, and in, in uh, elsewhere in India, in the, the Lakhat uh, region, uh, where we are producing uh, electricity from geothermal for for the households, uh, for for sports facilities and uh, schools. Uh, we are also cooling uh, fruits and helping the farmers. Uh, so, so this is you have untapped. Uh, and the geothermal resources uh, under, underneath, and we can help you to harness this with Icelandic know-how and help you to attain and help the world to, to, to reduce uh, gas emissions. So there are, uh, this I see as a, as a, as a, as a vast uh, opportunity, and I, we are also uh, concluding, hopefully, a free trade uh, agreement. I will meet with your uh, trade minister, Mr. Goyal, uh, to today, we, are, we will be discussing uh, the resumptions uh, of our FTA negotiations. We have been negotiating for too many years, mm -hmm. but uh, we have little left, and we are uh, optimistic uh, about uh, concluding this year, and that will underpin uh, all kinds of cooperation uh, between between us in, in the field of geothermal fisheries is another field that uh, Iceland can contribute. We have uh, uh, cooperated with India uh, in the UN in uh, the FAO, both uh, promoting sustainable utilization of fishing stocks, but also clean oceans, uh, which is uh, and fighting against pollution, which is uh, a fundamental issue today. Uh, you mentioned uh, gender, gender equality as well. Um, there, we that, that's a that's a marathon run for every for every nation for every nation. Uh, we have uh, managed to uh, uh, we have succeeded quite uh, well there. We are Iceland is has is in for the twelfth year. Uh, number one, when it comes to the global uh, for the gender gap uh, index report of the World Economic Forum, uh, we are we are proud of that. But it has not come automatically. It has been a trial and error for us. So we can also people can learn from our experience. Uh, and uh, yeah, as I said, th this is a this is a marathon run, and uh, we are cooperating with India. Uh, I'm meeting here today uh, gender experts from that ha have have been trained in Iceland and are doing magnificent things here What's in your India. What's suggestion for India? I'm sorry. What's your suggestion? Uh, my for suggestion India? for India. <laughs> well, gender equality. Yeah, nev never, never to give up and lose hope. You know, th th as I said, this is a marathon run. 
uh, and uh, role models are are role models. Uh, that's a one one thing that is very uh, that is vital that uh, young women and girls have role models and they can look up to. Uh, and uh, legislation, what I mentioned yesterday, we have a legislation on parental leave in Iceland, so that means uh, men and women take the same amount of time on leave. That means that the employer, uh, it doesn't matter whether he hires a woman or a man, uh, they, they take uh, the same amount of months of parental leave. So you can't calculated uh, debit and credit uh, that the woman is more longer away and that you lose money for hiring a, a, a lady and not a man doesn't matter this was a big big steps for a step for us in in in, in iceland so there are all, all kinds of things that uh, we have uh, implemented and and have been successful uh, you had a sportsman ex-policeman what do you think about uh, gender equality in police department any yeah, um, in police uh, and, and and in sports, I can mm -hmm. I can maybe touch up on both there. Uh, the, po the, the participation on women in in, poli the, in the police force in Iceland is uh, gradually increasing, and uh, both the head uh, the, the, the the top figure both in the Reykjavik police and in the central police uh, the central police commissioner in iceland they are both uh, women uh, and uh, for for so and these are role models for for young women that want to join the police squad they see that there is a there is a woman on top so they can the, 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 they can make it to the top as well that is really important it also brings a different dimension to the police uh, one of the roles of the police is the use of force in uh, extreme situations and uh, wi women have uh, bring in an extra dimension uh, to that decision making. The, they, they approach issues in a different manner than, than men and so the combination, we, we lose out if we only have one gender and not the other ones, so then we lose out. Uh, in in uh, every respect, uh, econ economically wise, and also just uh, to make the best decision, uh, our our uh, women have been doing uh, very well in in uh, in uh, football uh, recently. In recent years, they have been. On, on top ten uh, in the world uh, and and in Europe uh, f in in the past and have been ha have been uh, qualifying for the finals uh, uh, quite often uh, have been uh, winning uh, some of the strongest teams in 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 the world and uh, in Europe. In, in recent years, and we have players in the top clubs in Europe uh, as as well, uh, and and women's uh, the, the the women's fo football in in Iceland is is uh, very is flourishing and it's extremely active and and so uh, and and that has contributed uh, yeah that has just changed a lot uh, for for the women's participation in, in in sports in general and in football is 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 is. Uh, it's an evident thing in a way, but it wasn't like that 30, 40 years ago. Some, some thought that the football was not for women, and we didn't have a national team. Uh, and uh, and there, is, uh, there is still, you know, we, we are still fighting uh, gender equality when it comes to sports, the same, same treatment they should get, etc. So, uh, as I said, it's a marathon run. We, we, we are, even Iceland it hasn't... Uh, reached uh, gender equality when it comes to football the 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 the, the men have have reached more attention and and uh, uh, there are issues that we need to resolve there as well but you have also uh, in india uh, women's team in 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 cricket yes. and uh, that's very popular even more popular than the men's team so so and you can see for yourself what this means, you know. So it's just uh, 
it is all about a total participation in society of everybody, no matter gender, religion, uh, just total equality. That is what it's all about. What do you think about Pradhan Mantri and Narendra Modi? What about? PM, Narendra Modi. Yes. What do you want to say? Uh, yeah, M Modi is a, is, a, is a leader that is a, is a very strong leader. He just showed his uh, leadership during the G20 here in India, and congratulations on, on, on that outcome. He, he, he showed uh, his uh, leadership uh, uh, and he has, uh, he has been now uh, the regional elections. Uh, you see how uh, he has been doing there after all these years. In, in modern day and time, it is difficult to endure in politics, you know, and, and he has shown uh, resilience. Uh, of uh, yeah, just a resilience uh, second to none and, and uh, has proven his abilities and skills and he has been a, a great representative of, of India and world politics. Namaskar, I am Manak Gupta. If you like this video, please like and share it. And yes, subscribe and follow us so that you don't miss any news in the world. So, join us with us and see you. News 24.